Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I just want to take the time out to welcome all of my new subscribers. Um, if you don't know me, you're gonna get to know me. And yeah, I'm feeling myself. Okay guys, so basically I'm here today to show you about, you know, sometimes you want to change it up, you know, and I understand it can be a struggle. Ooh, there's something in my eye. I understand that it can be a struggle sometimes with buying different types of hair. You, you don't want to have this, you want to have that, you know, it's just too much going on. So the easiest way to do that, guys, to minimize you making all those wigs and just doing the most with your hair and you, but you want to change it up, get a wig. I used to talk about my mom and my sister all the time about it. Y'all, that is so fake. That is so fake. Y'all, guess what? This is a wig on my head, okay? This is not my real hair. This is a wig. So we wigging it out today. <laughs> so basically, I am here to show you how to wear a wig. And guess how much this wig was, y'all? $20. So I'm just going to show you just a couple of tips on how I can revamp it so it won't look too wiggy, guys, and, you know, make it look realistic. So you guys are interested in this video, let's get right on into it, okay? Okay guys, so for this video, you're gonna need a wig cap, of course. You're gonna also need some tweezers. You're going to need some scissors. I actually use swiggly scissors, but if you don't wanna use that, you can always go to your regular scissors. Then of course, you're going to need the wig, of course. So the wig of choice that I use to basically um, revise and uh, make it look realistic. I use um, the Lace Front lace front Wig by Ultra. And this is uh, Style Lara. And the colors that I decided to go ahead and do, I did not want to do like the blind because I'm not sure how I am as a blind. Um, but I did do a 1B and a 33, okay? Okay guys, so this is how the wig basically looks before I do any revamping and making it look realistic. It's actually pretty cute. Um, so I'm not gonna completely just poop all over it. So let me turn it around so you guys can see the full, you know, look. So as you can see here, this is where the part is supposed to be. You know, you can't see it, but this is where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to start right here and, you know, go over here. So we are going to fix that, okay? <clears throat> okay, guys. So we are going to cut this portion off. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is your port. This is the port of the wig. So this is how it looks when it's all together, but you, you know, you can kind of see where the wig is. What you want to do is take your tweezers and begin to tweeze in the middle of your lace, okay? And this is a synthetic wig, guys, so it is not human. So just take, let's get a little closer. So you're gonna just take, so you see? You see where the part is? Better look. But see when you do it like that, you better can tell. So what you're gonna do is just take the tweezers and then tweeze on that line, okay? So let's get started. <laughs> going you do not want to tweeze as much because you don't want it to be too open okay okay so I got that part pretty much adjusted and then the next thing you want to do if you want your edges to be you know like a little bit more realistic than this you can also tweeze uh, amongst this line here but if you don't really care about it go ahead and pop that sucker on and keep it moving Meek Mills. Okay guys, so you see that I have my cap on, correct? So what I'm gonna do is actually, 
And I have it so far, I'm going to move it one braid behind. As you can see, I got my braids in, see? Move it one braid behind, like that. Bring one braid over here. So it can just be a little bit far back so, you know, the wig can flow. We want it to flow. Let's see what dramatic changes we are looking like. So we're gonna just pop that sucker on. And you wanna adjust however it is you want to adjust. Okay, as you can see, this is pretty much how I like to wear it. So, you know, you want to fix it up. And you know, because I have that light skin, I guess you could say, um, cap on my head, you can kind of see it a little bit, but it's not really fully filled in. So we're gonna just go our easy peasy method. You basically want to take um, any concealer of your choice um, that basically matches your skin tone. So uh, I'm gonna use the LA Girls. Uh, and this is color Toffee because that's pretty much my skin tone. So I'm just gonna take it with a brush here. You see I got it on there like, take the brush. And you're gonna line it up, okay? You're gonna line it up right on that line. And then we are going to just take our hands and just get the blending. But you see, because of the type of wig that I do have uh, on my head, it doesn't require that much, uh, you know, concealer and stuff because this is a bushy wig. So everybody's pretty much looking at the curl pattern versus actually looking at the part, okay? But anyways, if you wanted to look that realistic look, you know, everything down to the T, then, you know, we want to take those drastic measures. So I actually bought this from your local beauty store. And it says you can curl it. Okay guys, so I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video with me. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, put them in the comment box. Um, don't forget to like and definitely subscribe. And don't forget guys, if any jewelry that you see me wearing in my videos, um, you're going to see those on my accessory website. And this is one of my pieces. You can get this cute little choker for affordable price on my website. And it is Style Guru Zag. Style Guru Zag. That. Okay? I just want to thank you guys. Bye-bye.